Hey friends, so today we're talking about decimals, hundreds on the number line. So this is a follow-up to yesterday's video. Yesterday we were talking about tenths on the number line. Now let's check out hundreds. So quick review. A number line, just like yesterday, could be any num any line that's going toward infinity in both directions. You get bigger as you move to the left, you get smaller, the value gets decreases as you move. You get bigger as you move to the right, you get smaller as you move to the left. So 1 through 10, there it is. Looking at yesterday, right, that same video, or same, same number line, 1 through 10, look in 1s. Now in tenths, if we're counting by tenths, notice you have 10 spaces between 0 and 1, 10 spaces between 1 and 2, and so on. So that same line, that same number line, 0 to 10, He's going to have, what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 spaces. It's crazy. But just like number lines can get infinitely long, they can get infinitely deep. So what does it look like when you have uh, tenths blown up, right? Zero to one, ten spaces. Now, whoa, it, it, we have to blow it up so we can add more spaces. If you're dealing with a hundredths place, so let's say we're dealing with 0 0.56, right? So 0 and 56 hundredths. Hundredths is two decimal places. So between 0 and 1, there's a hundred spaces. If you're dealing with tenths, check it out. 0 to 1, you have 10 spaces. But if you're dealing with hundredths, you have to multiply 10 times 1, 10. That's 100, right? 10, 10, 10, 10. So 56. Check it out. Point. <coughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then let's count 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There it is. 56 hundredths shows on the number line like this. Okay. So I want to show you how looking at a number line by the tenths, we can easily turn it into hundredths. So what is half of one tenth? What is it? Then go back to money, right? Always money's easy to deal with. A dime is a tenth, right? Dime equals uh, one tenth. A nickel is half of a dime, and that is equal to zero five cents, right? So we have a dime is 10 cents and a nickel is 5 cents, half. So 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths. Oh, okay. What's half of 1 and 2? 15. 0 0.15, 0 0.05, 0 0.25, 0 0.35. Does that not make sense? What's between 20 and 30 cents? 25 cents. What's between 80 and 90 cents? 85 cents. Hundredths place has two decimals, uh, two decimal places. The, the tenths place has one decimal. So the exact same thing that I just drew, here it is spelled out for you. Between zero and one, notice 100, because you're dealing with the hundredths places. Hundredths place, zero, a nickel, a dime, 15 cents, 20, 25 cents, 30, 35. Couldn't we just continue to add pennies? We could say... Uh, one, two, three, four, five pennies. Six, seven, eight, nine, a dime. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. A number line, you can add integers in between. You can add increments in between each number just as long as you, you maintain an even pace. Okay? Even increments. between, this is pretty cool, it's, it's very similar to these number lines, but we're playing with the decimal, right? 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So instead of dealing with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're at 0, 1 tenth, one tw or 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths. So what comes after 10? 1 tenth is like 10 pennies, right? So 10, 11, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13. That's awesome. Here we go. 
And and for for the sake of just space and running out of, of space, are, are counted by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right. Again, thank you guys for for tuning in and watching these videos. Always appreciate it. Looking at zero to one. So this is tenths. If we wanted to turn it into one hundredths, we could add uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. <laughs> uh, his art. It's hard to write. So small. This is, and just a side note, this is how a meter stick works. This is the metric system. It's pretty cool. The metric system is built on the decimal and place value. All right. So, uh, guys, thank you so much, and gals, thank you so much for tuning in and watching these videos. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help.